How's it going everybody? It's Mystical here, and I'm back with another commentary. It's been a while, but uh, I felt it would be appropriate with uh, this ODST gameplay in the background, because I've got a lot of uh, Halo-related stuff to talk in this commentary. I know people enjoy Halo, so uh, you should enjoy this one. Uh, for those that are uh, wondering uh, why I chose the ODST, I had a couple of requests from people wanting to see some gameplay. And I realized I only had like five or six matches of ODST previously on my channel anyways. Uh, so it's always nice to go back. But uh, also you probably heard in the news um, all the Halo games that were on the 360 are now going to be coming uh, backwards compatible. And that's kind of what I wanted to focus on today. Uh, is those games becoming backwards compatible on the Xbox One and what it means for games like Master Chief Collection, because as you know, some of the games in Master Chief Collection, like Halo 3 and Halo 4, are, uh, um, you know, have their own standalone games from back in the day that I used to play, uh, well before uh, Master Chief Collection ever existed, and, uh, you know, what impacts that might have, what I'm going to do for this channel, and give you guys the news if you haven't heard yet. So to start, um... I think about a week or two ago, Microsoft announced that uh, all the Halo games that were on the 360 will be backwards compatible. We already had Halo Reach. You guys have already seen me uploading from time to time matches of that. Uh, but what I really wanted was games like Halo ODST, definitely, uh, to get there. Um, and I think it's cool that Halo 3 and 4 uh, are becoming backwards compatible for people who want that. I'll get to that later. And... I believe those were the uh, the only Halo-related games on the 360, you know, so we already had Reach, and basically you're going to get ODST Firefight, because that ODST was in Master Chief Collection, but unfortunately the Firefight for some reason wasn't, which is a shame, because in my opinion that's the best part of the game. Um, and, you know, I could always go back like I just did just now on my 360 to get some gameplay for you guys of ODST. It's been a while since I played this. Um... And then, you know, there's Halo 3 and 4. Um, there seems to be a, a lot of people really excited for, uh, you know, Halo 3 and 4 in general coming back to backwards compatible, which is kind of surprising because for me, uh, I've been enjoying them in Master Chief Collection. Um, and when those become backwards compatible, I may just, you know, try a match on the Xbox One. But I think a lot of people might not remember, especially if they, they're like me, have been playing Master Chief Collection. Uh, those games are still 720p, and they will be still 30 frames per second, so you're not going to be uh, playing at the same resolution that you would at Master Chief those games. And yes, I know, there are some issues with, uh, especially with Halo 3, you know, things like emblems not showing up in the match. Uh, uh, there might be some other inconsistencies in terms of like how it was presented uh, in Master Chief, obviously it's not perfect, unfortunately. Um, but I'll be surprised if people are going to want to go back to the original Halo 3 and 4, whereas they already had Master Chief Collection, and uh, be okay with the lower frame rate and the um, lower resolution. Because, I mean, to be honest, it's so nice playing Halo 3 at 60 frames and 1080p. It makes a huge difference, in my opinion. Like, going back to play ODST for this uh, commentary... I wouldn't say it was hard, you can see I'm playing quite fine, but uh, you definitely notice the 30 frames per difference. In games like Reach and Firefight, I'm okay doing that because there's not a uh, another game, you know? There's no Reach in 60 frames, 1080p, obviously. But uh, I'll be surprised if a lot of people are going to go back permanently to Halo 3, uh, the original, and not want to play the Master Chief Collection version because of, uh, you know, one thing or another. Um, on Reddit, there are lots of posts, and I voice my opinions. And there seems to be, thankfully, a lot of people like me uh, that are going to stay with Master Chief Collection. So, for those of you that watch my channel, I'm still going to be playing Master Chief Collection for Halo 3 and 4. Um, I don't really see a reason to go back to 720p, 60 frames for a couple caveats. Uh, you know, things like having ranked, you know, I already got my 5-star general. I don't see a reason to go back to 720p, 1080, start a new account for some reason to get another level 50 or something. You know, I've already done that, been there, done that. 
I'm mostly playing to enjoy the game. And for me at least, uh, Master Chief Collection works fine. Now, I will say I think it's great that it is coming for people in other countries and regions that have been having problems with Master Chief Collection, unfortunately, because either people aren't playing it in that region or just weird connectivity issues. So that will at least give them an option to play those games again. But for those that are unaware, there is no Halo 1, there is no Halo 2. So Master Chief Collection still offers the way, you know, without a doubt, the best option to play those because uh, the 360 never had Halo 1 or 2. Now some people might get confused and think, but wait, I was playing my Halo 1 or Halo 2 on my 360, and that's because it was the backwards compatibility version of the original Halo 1 and 2. And you have to remember, Halo 1 on Xbox never had matchmaking, so there's been news of the OG Halo games also becoming backwards compatible. The most you're going to get out of that is playing LAN and uh, um, the uh, uh, campaign. But, you know, if you're playing campaign for Master Chief Collection, you get it in 60 frames, 1080p, the anniversary edition for both Halo 1 and 2. And, you know, uh, the OG versions, they already announced that those will not have resolution change. So you're still going to be playing those at 4x3 resolution which is, you know, even worse than the Halo 3 and 4 360 versions, which were at least, you know, 16 by 9. For those that wonder what that means, it's widescreen. I think Halo 2 had adaptive widescreen, so you might get that, but it's stretched. So, either way, unless you're like a really, really hardcore, gotta play the, the purest Halo form ever, you know, you don't care about the CRT screen size, you know, and the lower resolution and the worst frame rate, then I suppose you could go back to playing Halo uh, 1 and 2 on that, but uh, even Halo 2, you're not going to get matchmaking because for those, you got to remember, those servers got pulled offline a long time ago. Um, I believe it was like in April and May, I was there the last day playing it. Those are separate from the 360 servers because they were OG servers for OG Xbox, so you're not going to be able to play that matchmaking either. So Master Chief Collection, if you're still on the fence, like, oh, I can just hold out, um, I still think, you know, especially now with the price, how cheap it is, just go get Master Chief if you have Xbox One. I don't think you'll have a problem um, finding players. And if you unfortunately do, you at least get your money's worth with all the campaigns, Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, and ODST campaigns. So, you know, I think in general, the campaign is far superior at the very least to get it on the uh, um, Xbox One version, Master Chief Collection, instead of having to go back. But I mean... If you're tight on money and you have your old copies, then, you know, I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying that what I'm going to be doing is I'm still sticking to Master Chief Collection for everything except Reach and ODST because there's really no reason for me to go back. Here's a good experiment if you guys want to see what it's going to look like. I have hundreds and hundreds of Halo 3 gameplay and Halo 4 from the 360 way well before because my channel's been around for many years now. I can't believe it's going on like six or seven or something, but uh, some of the first games I played were Halo Reach, Halo 3, and Halo 4. Just go to one of my old playlists. I have playlists for these. Go to Halo 3 playlist and watch a match on Construct, for example. Then go to my Master Chief Collection Halo 3 playlist and watch a match on Construct there. Watch them side by side if you're able to or something. And you'll notice the difference right away. Those are captured in their highest resolution and highest frame rate. You'll see, why would I want to go back to the OG Halo 3 version with the lower frame rate and resolution? Because in terms of parity, they, they pretty much play and look the same, you know? I'm not having any trouble playing the newer version compared to the old. Um, and you know, I, uh, I don't think I'll have a problem going back if I had to, but I don't think you guys want me to go back to a lower resolution frame rate. Because you won't really notice a difference, honestly. Um, you don't see me finding a match or anything, or if a match had a weird problem, you know, that's not uploaded. So, I mean, um, I don't really have a reason for my channel to go back, but I may, for commentaries or for fun's sake, show a match of Halo 4 and 3, you know, on the uh, 360 version again, on backwards compatible, but you're not going to get a boost in performance that's going to make it 60 frames because it was never coded that way. And you're not going to get it coded to be 1080p. You might get, you know, the true 720p because I believe Halo 3 was even upscaled from 540p or some weird frame rate. So I mean, you'll 
you will get a slight boost and that might be enough for some people. But for me, after playing on Halo 3 on Master Chief Collection and all the others, it's, it's just too good to go back and as you've seen the hundreds of matches I've uploaded, I don't really have a reason to go back. Um, I will say, uh, you know, Axe probably starting real soon. Uh, I'll be playing more Reach because another bonus is all the DLC for um, Halo 3, 4, and Reach is now free. Go get it right now if you're waiting for the backwards compatible version. Um, it's all free, so if you were for some reason not able to afford or didn't want to pay the extra money to play the Halo Reach, which is backwards compatible now, all those, go get those please, because one of the biggest gripes I have with Halo Reach in the past years is it seems I can never find a DLC map, and some of those are, in my opinion, the best part of Halo Reach, and so I can't wait to, you know, play some more Reach here. Because I already own the DLC, but a lot of people didn't, and it never showed up in regular matchmaking. So it's going to be co so cool now that it's all free. I'm hoping everyone just goes download it because it's free, and now I'll be able to play all these awesome maps like Anchor 9 and uh, Tempest and all those, you know, Unanchored. Uh, I think there were a couple others. Uh, I guess that was a variant of Anchor 9, but you know what I mean. Um, those are some fun DLC maps, and I haven't got to upload those on my channel, even despite playing Reach from time to time, because nobody owns them, so they never show up. So, uh, that will be cool. That is one bonus to, you know, if people are not going to play Master Chief Collection because they hate it for one reason or another, you'll at least get all the DLC from Halo 3, 4, and, uh, um, Reach. I don't know if the Halo 2 map packs are going to be free, but even then you can't play them online. I believe they said LAN is going to work, so that's really cool. I don't know why uh, Master Chief Collection, I guess the way it was coded, it, it couldn't be done that way, but uh, it's cool to see that the Xbox One, it, you know, is able to have the LAN support, so if you're wanting to play LAN with those games, you will be able to do that. So Halo 1 and 2 OG, I believe if they bring them back, you'll at least get to do LAN, but you will still be constrained to those lower resolutions and the... Uh, uh, lower frame rates, so that's not going to change, but, you know, like I said, if you're really competitive hardcore people or you just like the pure Halo, you'll be able to do it again. So, you know, I don't think there'll be any more, uh, hopefully any more playlist hate in Master Chief Collection, because for those that know, there are people, oh, if you vote Halo 3, I quit, or, you know, if you vote Halo 1, Big Team Battle, I quit, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping this will make everybody happy, and then when I play Master Chief Collection, there won't be people just rage quitting because they're getting not getting the, the game they want. Um, and that's the other concern I have, is what will this do to the Master Chief Collection population? Is it going to withstand or last, or, you know, am I not going to be able to, poo to upload as much Halo as I want? Because if Master Chief Collection dies, honestly guys, I'm not going to go back to... Probably not going to go back to Halo 3 and 4 to get gameplay, because I just you know, no, nowhere near as often, because I just don't feel like having to force myself to play in the re lower frame rates and res resolution um, after having something much greater. But from Reddit and the posts I had that got 50 to 100 plus upvotes, you know, there seems to be people that are still going to be dedicated to playing Master Chief Collection. And I think people that are like, oh man, I hate Master Chief Collection, what it did, I'm going back to Halo 3, and they'll play and like, uh, you know what, I don't really like the lower resolutions and frame rate quality. I think I'm actually just going to stick to Master Chief. I think there will be people committed to sticking to the old one, but I think there will be people who will go back, try it, and then realize that they still enjoy Master Chief Collection, hopefully. But I hope everybody wins, and what my, the main thing I want to see is that the Halo population in general just grows again. There's more people playing on Master Chief, more on Reach, more on ODST Firefight, more in Halo 3 and 4, so everybody's playing Halo, everybody wins, you know, it's it's all good there. Um, you know, in Halo 5, I kind of consider that on its own thing, because that's like the newest Halo, so I don't see a lot of people just ditching that, because there are people who, uh, unfortunately, hate the classic Halos, but I love the classic Halos way more. Um, I actually got just got done playing some Halo 5 matches, for those that are wondering, where's the Halo 5 gameplay? I honestly have not been playing it as much, but I did just get done doing another round, you know, a couple matches, so I think by Friday or something it'll show up. I still have to render it speaking, you know, as of uploading this commentary. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I don't I don't play Halo 5 nearly as much, and you probably notice the rate of Halo 5 has gone down just because it's I don't know if frustrating is the word. It's just it's not my my Halo, despite working on it, you know, being part of that team. It's um, I am much more of a classic Halo player uh, for sure, and so I play Master Chief Collection way more than I do Halo 5, um, but. Uh, you know, Halo 5 is going to have its own population, so I don't think people should be worried if the you know, backwards compatibility um, causes any problems with that. So, that's really all I have on terms of those things. I guess the last thing I wanted to talk about is I still to this day get confusion on my channel about how are you playing Halo 3 on Xbox One? Don't you mean 360 or are you playing Halo 1 and 2 on PC? You know, I get comments like that all the time where they think I'm playing it on PC. But, you know, a lot of people still don't realize Master Chief Collection is a thing, surprisingly. And now that uh, backwards compatibility is coming, there's going to be even more confusion on my channel. I think people are going to think I'm playing on the 360 versions because they never knew Master Chief existed. And like, oh, you're... How did you get the frame rate so much higher? Or, uh, you, you labeled this wrong. It's actually 360. And it's like, no, this is Master Chief Collection. You just don't realize that this is the... Uh, this game's been out since, since 2014, and I'm actually playing Halo 3 on the, the Xbox One version, which is different. Um, I, st I saw some comments, people mentioning backwards compatibility. Uh, they were thinking it's actually out now, and it's not. I think it's this fall when Xbox Scorpio comes out, is when they'll release all that stuff. Um, and you know, uh, this might be a way to make the Halo community happy after being disappointed. Oh, gotta yawn. Oh. Uh, with uh, Master Chief Collection, um, I've thankfully been able to play matches, but I know some people haven't. So now they'll get to at least play those Halo games again, which will be cool. Um, but for those wondering, I'm mostly just going to be doing Master Chief because I have really no reason to go back. Um, and, you know, it'll be an experiment. I will probably make a video for sure in the future when backwards compatibility, compatibility comes. And I will see, you know, is Master Chief Collection still playable? Uh, for those that are wondering, because I always get asked, uh, yes, Master Chief Collection is still playable. Uh, not this Friday, but the Friday before. I actually just played, you know, another five, six hours of Friends. So I'm always, uh, you know, getting uh, plenty and plenty of um, uh, matches for Master Chief. And I'm not having trouble finding players. So uh, for those that were wondering... Um, uh, yeah, it's still playable, so if you're still wondering, go get a copy. It's dirt cheap. Start enjoying some Master Chief, and you can play all the Halos. Um, I'm hoping that the population will last after backwards compatibility comes out, and I think it will. Um, I don't, from what it seemed like I said on Reddit, it seems like there are people like me that are going to stick with the newer one, because they just don't want to go back to the old. And it, it should uh, have enough people to play, you know, the Team Slayers and Big Team Battle playlists, I hope. Because those are the ones I frequent most. Um, Halo Reach has still been doing pretty good, and I think with backwards compatibility, uh, DLC being free, that'll bring more people. Um, but it's going to be curious because, you know, uh, Halo has definitely been in, the like I like to call, the losing bracket in terms of popularity and population. It's definitely nowhere near what it used to be, which is kind of sad, but channels like mine have been still supporting it and playing it because we enjoy Halo. Um, you know, I don't think Halo will ever die, and I think there's still always enough people to play it that there will be, you know, certain games with it, but, um, you know, it definitely has been on the decline. Even Halo 5 I don't feel is very popular um, as, you know, the previous ones. Uh, I've noticed even like the social skirmish, team skirmish, or whatever. I I have I have to go against a lot of like pro MLG tryhard type play players like me. And it's it's really rough. Like I almost never get a break in that. Like in terms of like having to when I play Master Chief, it's way more lax. Even like the good players, I want to say quote unquote good. I I still can pretty much just ah eh, whatever you know. Oh I I got a killing frenzy and you know went twenty and ten big deal. At Halo Five though it's it's pretty rough. I think it's due to a less population. There's just more hardcore people left over, and the casual com community is not there as much. Um, but it will be interesting to see. Um, even myself, 
I can't say that Halo is my uh, uh, main game anymore. I, I've been playing Black Ops 3 way more. For those that have noticed and I mentioned in previous commentaries, I've actually been ramping up the gameplay because I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of really awesome stellar matches. Because honestly, you know, I'm enjoying that game more than Halo 5. Uh, and I'm not going to lie or, you know, force myself to play games I don't enjoy. So I, I play Black Ops 3 almost daily, uh, whereas Halo 5 is maybe once a week, if that, you know, uh, I'm just, you know, I don't know. I feel like when I play Halo, or Black Ops 3, I'm, I have a more sense of rewarding and I can just go to town. You guys can watch those matches and I just tear it up and still tearing it up. I think I had a match tonight. My last match of the night, I, I don't know, I think it went like 24 and 8 or something. That was a 3.0 KD, you know. I was not doing that in Call of Duty back in the day. That was like Halo stats. But I've been playing so much Call of Duty now. In a way, the tables have reversed. Or I'm just getting insane KDs now in a Call of Duty game, which I never would be able to do in the past. And it's just because I'm more engrossed and interested in doing better in those. So I'm playing it more and having fun. Um, but, you know... Uh, that's not to say that there won't be Halo on this channel, because if you guys have noticed, I've always had it every week. And I, and Ma Master Chief Collection is without a doubt. I still play that pretty often, but, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has definitely uh, become my main game now. Um, but this is not really a Call of Duty commentary. I was just saying, you know, in terms of uh, Halo and where it stands, you know, I'm not the only person and player that used to be a, a hardcore Halo player. I, you know, I'm curious in the comments, do you still play Halo as much as he used to? Are there other games like, I don't know, uh, Destiny, Battlefield, you know, whatever, that you play more now because you're either becoming fatigued from Halo or it's just not what it used to be to you. So it's like, yeah, I'm still good at it, but I don't really want to play it as much. And that's kind of how it is for me. Uh, I've been enjoying other games like Call of Duty a lot more. So I guess specifically Black Ops 3, that's the one I play the most. But uh, even Modern Warfare Remastered, it's fun to go back to that. Um, lead on. I'm curious to know if you guys are still playing as much. Um, Halo has definitely, uh, I wouldn't say backseat is the right word. It's, it's definitely become a, uh, I've been playing this for so many years. I do enjoy playing it from time to time, but I've kind of moved on to focusing on other games that I want to get good at or be good at, you know? Um, so, you know, it's, it's just kind of like that, but, um, as long as, as long as these classic Halo games have a population, I will be uploading gameplay. And I hope that's the case, you know? Um, I really do enjoy playing Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 through Master Chief Collection, you know? And it all, unfortunately, depends on the population. Um, I really wish that uh, those games had bot support like Call of Duty. That's one of the other things I really appreciate. Because, you know, at the very least, if you guys wanted to see more Halo gameplay from me, I would no doubt be churning out bot gameplay. And I know some people don't like it, but other people, they don't give a crap. They just want to see gameplay. And, you know, I turn on bot difficulty at Insane Veteran or whatever, you know. I do it for Gears, even. Uh, people enjoy watching that, and I enjoy playing it. So I upload it. I don't care what other people think in terms of if it's not what they want. But, you know, at the very least, you would see more... Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo 5 being uploaded way more often. I'd almost do it like every other day for you guys where I'd have like, you know, at least once or twice a week me playing against real people and then there would be like bot matches. But at the very least, there would be more gameplay and that's kind of why Call of Duty on this channel, you know, has a higher rate because I do have bot matches from time to time injected into what I'm playing online. Um... And that's because it's fun to me. It's fun to just screw around and shoot crap. And I really wish Halo had bot support. Because I think a lot of you guys don't care what I'm playing against, who I'm playing against. You just want to see more. Like, here, ODST. This is not against other people. It's technically bots. Sure, it's it's a survival mode. But, you know, it's no different than me playing against veteran bots in a multiplayer setting. It's still going to be just as challenging. And not everybody can do, you know, veteran. I dare people to get, if you have a copy of Black Ops 3, you know, play free for all, put the bots, put 18 of them in a match, put them on insane and try and get first place. Good luck. Like, it's very tough. And there are players online that are just that quick with the trigger. And, you know, I, I've actually have videos uploaded of that, but it's fun. It's a fun challenge. Um, 
and it's actually made me a better player in Black Ops 3, playing on uh, veteran uh, bots for many, many months, and then going online, and it's like, oh, uh, these players are actually worse than the players in bots, and that, that can be very true. Um, even with, like, Gears of War, I think I've become a better player, even though I'm nowhere near others, because I play the uh, insane bots from time to time, and I can get used to the weapons and the maps and all that, but, you know, I'm already a good Halo player, but even then, I'd, I'd still love to uh, to do that, you know. Um, and I wish I wish Halo had bots, you know. I, lo I know some people don't care, but I'm curious what you guys would think. Would you play bots if, if Halo had them? Because, man, that would be great. I could offer you guys a lot more game types and more of the rare maps that don't show up as often, you know, because I could do bots. That's one of the things that's really awesome about them and that I really appreciate with Gears and Call of Duty uh, that have it because I can offer more variety, too, in game modes that either aren't offered online or people just plain don't play online, so you can't really get gameplay for. And I enjoy playing a variety of stuff. Um, but because of that, you mostly only see Team Deathmatch and then Big Team Battle, which has kind of a mix of uh, things. That is one thing that Halo 5 does a good job of. I wish the classic ones had it more like that. I wish uh, Master Chief Collection, instead of it de being a Team Slayer, Place, it would just be like a team skirmish that you play Slayer and capture the flag and Oddball, King of the Hill, Assault, uh, you know, all those good ones. But unfortunately, uh, it's a bit harder to get those. Um, but yeah, this, this commentary is starting to go on to a tangent, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know some of you just enjoy me talking about Halo or having Halo uploaded. Um, I don't know... When I'll have more ODST, I think I'm going to hold out so it becomes backwards compatible. Because it's just nice to pop the disc into my Xbox One. And also have my Xbox One controller. Um, but I may do another match or two in the future. Um, Halo Reach, I will definitely try to play some more for you guys. Because I am curious myself as an experiment. Can I finally get a DLC map? Uh, Master Chief Collection will be on the way. I think it's actually coming up in the next day or so. You should see some gameplay. And then Halo 5 should be, uh, you know, before the next weekend. Um, and then so on and so forth. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. I hope you enjoyed going back to some ODST gameplay here. It's definitely fun to go play it for a bit. Um, that's the other thing, is I'm going to wait till it becomes backwards compatible because I have friends that don't have their 360 anymore or don't want to hook it up. Uh, but they do want to play Firefight with me, so you will see actual team Firefight. You know, I, I can't do too much. Uh, solo. I guess I could put it on Heroic or Legendary, but then I won't last very long. Uh, but, you know, I got pretty far in this normal one. I stopped. I kept going because I had so many lives and stuff, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this commentary, and I will see you on the next one. And if you enjoy Halo, there's always more on the way. Later.